talk about Sir Jim, new transfer plan for Manchester United, right? Sir Jim, uh, he did a podcast yesterday, but he was asked some questions about, you know, how he's going to handle uh, Manchester United. Now he's the, uh, they have control of uh, footballing operations at Manchester United. But one of the questions he was asked, I look, will you be going for a player like Mbappe? Uh, you know, Sir Jim correctly said, which I really liked, he said, look, man, that what we're trying to build at Manchester United is to change the the whole mentality or way of doing business that was done in the past, right? In the past, we tried to buy our way to, you know, championships and uh, titles, which has never worked ever since Sir Alex Ferguson left, right? So, so, so Jim said, look, we're not going to do that. Our game is to, our game plan is to set set up a structure, you know, where you have director of football recruiting that is so good that it can identify the next Kylian Mbappe, right? And we groom him to be that superstar, right? To identify the next Jude Bellingham, right? To identify the next Roy Keane. That is how it should be. So basically here, as I understand is, they're not gonna throw money at the problem and try to uh, find a solution for it. They are, they are, they're thinking of coming up with a structure to be able to churn those uh, superstars. So, which is really good because I know that we're gonna approach it differently. He also talked about um, who would he prefer to win the title. He said, look, he he hates Liverpool, Man City, right? You know, we know just Sir Jim is a true Man United fan and Mancunian forever, right? So he said, look, I'll be, you know what? Less of two, less of the two evils. I would rather Arteta and Arsenal win it, right? I agree with that, man. Um, let Arteta win it. But he said, look, it would be nice for Arteta to win it because Arsenal have been patient with Arteta, which is true. They gave him some time to build up his team. Uh, they gave him time to get rid of those players that don't work, right? So that statement, a lot of people took it like, look, maybe Ten Hag has a chance with Ineos and Sir Jim. Meaning that if he made that statement, hopefully they may do the same thing for Ten Hag giving him time, right? Giving him time to work with a structure above him that can make him successful, right? Because truly, I don't see any other manager out there that can come to that Man United team and then, you know, make it, you know, work like a well-oiled machine. So far, at least Ten Hag knows the issues, knows the problems. This summer, he's going to hopefully work on eliminating some of those players because the players are the problem, man bringing players that can work in the system that he and Sir Jim, Ineos, Barada, Dan Ashworth come up with. That way we have a, a certain play, uh, playing structure, a certain way of playing, that way we can get the players that can work in that structure. It was nice to hear Sir Jim talking about patience when it comes to Arteta. So hopefully they'll give Ten Hag patience as well. Let me know what you guys think about these two um, make sure to hit the follow and liking the video, share the video. I appreciate you all being here. And again, thank you for driving with me. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.